Right. Well, here we are. Welcome to this video on how to make a skimmer. And this video is going to primarily focus on how to do the sketch of the skimmer to kind of give you some of the big details. So here I have just my regular piece of paper. Okay. And your skimmer, you'll make it on cardstock actually, but it's the same size. It's eight and a half by 11, which makes this sketch a lot easier. And when you are sketching your skimmer out here, you actually want to have something hard to write on. This table is a little softer with this tablecloth. So I have this algebra book here that I can write on. Now, because my paper is 11 inches long, I don't have to actually measure it short. My skimmer is going to be 11 inches long. So when I'm drawing my base uh, level of my skimmer here, um, I can just measure straight across. So the first thing I want to do, okay, is I actually want to measure four inches from the edge. And I'm going to actually push my skimmer body right up against the edge because then it gives me straight lines on the sides and on one of the edges. So I only have to worry about drawing one straight line. So I'm going to line my ruler up here so that the starting hatch mark is right on the edge. I'm going to mark a line four inches from there. Just a little short little mark, okay? And I'm going to do that in a couple other places. Okay. So I have about three little marks here. And what I can do now is I can line my ruler up with those, with all three. And then I know that my line is going to be four inches from the edge the whole way down. Okay, because I lined it up in multiple places to make sure it was four inches. And I can go ahead and check here. Yep, four inches, four inches. Okay, four inches. Very nice. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to draw a line a half inch away from this edge and a half inch away from this edge. So I'm going to do my same strategy here. Line the starting hatch mark up. Half inch. Half inch. And up here. Okay. Do that same thing, just a half inch. And I can line my ruler up on all three of those lines. And I'm just going to draw a solid line here for these three. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing from the other side. Okay. So now I have half an inch, three inches, half an inch. And I can run my ruler through here and check. Nice, good, solid three inches, right, in between. Now what I want to do <clears throat> is I want to draw a line from this edge um, about three inches up. So I'm going to do the same thing where I just mark three inches. I mark, let's be very careful here, three inches. And then I can line it up right on both those lines and make sure I have a nice straight and square line about three inches there. Now you'll see on the skimmer drawing that it wants these lines here to be dotted and I drew them solid, right? Because you're going to cut on solid lines and fold on dotted lines. So what we actually want to do now is go and erase and make these look like dashed lines. And so there you have it. That is the main body of our skimmer and we're going to cut on all the solid lines, fold on all the dotted lines. Okay. So the next thing we need to do now is we need to draw the fins. Okay. And so to do this, I am just going to make sure that my fins are right in these corners because the fins have a nice square corner on them. And luckily our paper can just do that for us. Okay. So I'm going to put my, the three inch part of the ruler right at the bottom of the paper and mark up three inches there. Do the same thing on this side. Sorry, I'm trying to get good framing here so you guys can see while I'm drawing this. Three inches there. Then it comes out half an inch on each of those marks. I'm going to do it this way so I can see it a little better. And it goes up a half an inch here. And then to make that nice diagonal, I just line my ruler up. And you'll see, how do I get it on there? Right there, we have a nice little fin right in the corner. I'm gonna repeat that process on the other side. So 
So now you see here, we have our fins and our main body. So the last thing to do is what we call the air scoop. And the air scoop is really important to get correct. Okay, And it's a little more complicated than some of the other things we've sketched so far. So on the bottom, we actually want to mark right on the very bottom of our paper here, um, to, uh, both of our edges of the air scoop. And they are going to be three and three quarters inches apart, right? Because you have a three, um, a three inch sort of base of the air scoop. And then there's these little flaps that fold and the bottom of the flaps are three eighths each and the top of the flaps are one eighth, but we'll get to that. So what I'm going to do is just kind of center it here in the middle and I'm going to draw a little tick mark or hash mark right here at zero and then right here at three and three quarters. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to count over one, two, three eighths and draw another little one and go one, two, three eighths and draw another little one right here. Okay. So what that allows me to do is now line my ruler up with those inside marks and go up three inches. Okay. And I can do the same thing on this side. Okay. Now what I need to do is up here. Okay. I need to line my ruler up and I can make sure those lines are three inches. They're looking pretty good. And I actually want to start my top line an eighth of an inch outside of that and finish it an eighth of an inch on the other side. So you'll notice now I have something kind of like this. Okay. It's like a square, but the top line is sticking over each edge by an eighth of an inch. Then all I need to do is take that edge that I finished a little bit longer, line it up with my little uh, tick mark or hitch, hatch mark, whatever you want to call it, my little line I drew, and just connect those. And now you have this, and it looks like a little trapezoid, but basically it's just a square with two little flaps or little wings on the side. And remember, you're going to cut on all the solid lines and fold on the dotted lines. So now we need to go through and erase to make some of these lines dotted. And I'll show you here. And you can see them on your, your sketch design. Okay. And there you have it. That's what the air scoop looks like. And you can kind of see the whole thing here, our main body both our fins and our air scoop all sketched out. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to cut all these things out, fold them up and put them together. All right. See you guys. Bye.